going to Mars? Not just a few astronauts. Thousands of people are going to colonize Mars, and it may happen soon. To survive, we have to reach beyond the home planet. And there is another reason why we should go to Mars. Exploration. Because exploration is in our DNA. Two million years ago, humans evolved in Africa. And then, slowly but surely, spread out across the entire planet by reaching into the wilderness that was beyond their horizons. I think for a moment what we have when John F. Kennedy, the, uh, the American politician who serves as the 35th President of the United States, when he told us that we would put a human on the moon, he excited an entire generation to dream. Think how inspired we will be to see a landing on Mars. Perhaps then we will look back at Earth and see that there is one people instead of many. We're about to undertake an extraordinary adventure. But first, let's have a talk on about some fascinating facts about Mars. Well, Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It has been a favorite object of sky watchers for decades and of space explorers for centuries. The distance to Mars depends on when you measure it and which vantage points you're considering. For example, the distance to Mars from the, from the Earth is 140 million miles, which means 225 million kilometers. Is Mars really red? The ancient Egyptians used to call Mars the red one. It has definitely a reddish tint. Well, a lot of rocks on Mars are full of iron, and when they are exposed to the great outdoors, they oxidize and they turn reddish. The same way an old bike left out in the yard gets rusty. So, there are, uh, in fact, there are a lot of different colors on what we call the red planet. Then, this picture actually represents the true size of Mars compared to Earth. Mars is not our sister planet. It's far less than half the size of the Earth. And yet, despite the fact that it's smaller, m uh, the surface area of Mars that you can stand on it's equivalent to the surface area of the Earth that you can stand on. Then, the atmosphere in Mar on Mars is really thin. It's 100 times thinner than on Earth. It's not breathable. It's 96% carbon dioxide. Well, on Mars, it's really cold there. The average temperature is minus 81 degrees. Well, and as Stephen Petranek said about the gravity, for anybody who wants to strap on some wings and go flying one day, Mars has a lot less gravity than on Earth. And it's a place where you can jump over your car and set a fork around it. As you can see, Mars is not Earth-like, but it's by far the most livable other place in our entire solar system. Can we actually live there? Well, remember, when, you, when we landed humans on the moon, people looked at each other and said, if we can do this, we can do everything. 